Hey everyone, it's your dude, Daniel. Have you ever taken a personality test and been absolutely shook by the results? Like, wait, I'm a what? We're diving deep into the fascinating world of ambiversion, baby. If you've ever felt like you don't quite fit the introvert or extrovert box, buckle up, buttercup, because this one's for you. Okay, so you know that feeling when you're out with your crew having a blast, but then your social battery starts flashing red like, low power, please connect to charger like five minutes ago. It's that moment when you're in the middle of a great conversation and suddenly you feel this overwhelming need to retreat, to recharge. It's not that you don't love your friends or the fun times, it's just that your energy levels have a limit and you've hit it. Yeah, that's an ambivert thing. Ambiverts are those unique individuals who can swing between being the life of the party and needing some serious alone time. We thrive in social settings, but we also need our space to recharge. It's like having a social switch that flips from party mode to me time without much warning. We can hang with the best of them, crack jokes, tell stories, but we also cherish those precious moments of solitude. It's in those quiet moments that we find our balance. We might be the ones leading the conversation one minute and then quietly observing the next. It's not about being shy or antisocial. It's about finding that perfect equilibrium between social interaction and personal downtime. It's like after a night out slaying the social game, we need a day in our pajamas, binge watching Netflix with a mountain of snacks. Balance, my friends, balance. It's all about knowing when to step back and recharge so that we can come back even stronger. So the next time you see someone stepping away from the crowd, just remember, they might be an ambivert, finding their balance in this social world. One minute we're the life of the party, dancing like there's no tomorrow, making everyone laugh and feel at ease. We thrive in the energy, soaking up the vibrant atmosphere and becoming the heartbeat of the celebration. The next minute, we're chilling in the corner, observing the chaos like a boss. We take a step back, enjoying the scene from a distance, finding comfort in the quiet moments amidst the noise. It's our way of recharging, taking in the details that others might miss. Ambiverts were adaptable like that. We can switch gears effortlessly, moving from high energy interactions to peaceful solitude without missing a beat. It's a unique blend of extroversion and introversion that allows us to navigate any social setting with ease. Give us a conference room full of CEOs and we'll be networking like pros. We know how to make connections, engage in meaningful conversations, and leave a lasting impression. Our adaptability shines in professional settings, where we can be both assertive and approachable. But stick us in a room with just one other person for a deep conversation? We're all ears, baby. We excel in one-on-one -on -one interactions where we can truly connect on a personal level. Listening intently, offering thoughtful responses, and creating a space for genuine dialogue is our forte. It's all about reading the room, feeling the vibes, and morphing into our best selves for the situation. We have an innate ability to sense the energy around us and adjust our behavior accordingly. Whether it's a lively party, a formal meeting, or an intimate gathering, we know how to fit in and stand out at the same time. It's like having social superpowers, but instead of capes, we have comfy sweaters. Our confidence comes from within, and it shows in how we present ourselves. We embrace our unique blend of social skills, knowing that we can handle any situation with grace and ease. So, whether we're the life of the party or the quiet observer, we're always true to ourselves, adapting and thriving in every social scenario. All right, let's talk decision-making people. It's something we all do every day, whether it's choosing what to wear, what to eat, or even bigger life choices like career paths and relationships. Introverts, they're all about that deep thinking, analyzing every angle. They take their time, weighing every possible outcome, and often prefer solitude to really dive deep into their thoughts. It's like they have a mental checklist they go through before making a move. Extroverts, they leap before they look, and sometimes that's amazing. They thrive on spontaneity and the energy of the moment. For them, decision-making is often a social activity, bouncing ideas off friends and feeding off the collective excitement. It's all about the thrill of the experience. Ambiverts were like, hold up, let's think this through. But not for too long, because pizza. We find ourselves balancing between the introvert's careful consideration and the extrovert's impulsive action. It's a dance of sorts, knowing when to pause and when to jump in. We weigh the pros and cons, consider the feelings involved, and then make a choice we can vibe with. It's about finding that harmony between our logical mind and our emotional heart. Sometimes we even make lists or talk it out with friends to get a clearer picture. It's all about finding that sweet spot between logic and emotion, you know? 
It's the perfect balance where we feel confident and content with our decisions. Whether you're an introvert, extrovert, or ambivert, the key is to understand your own decision-making style and embrace it. After all, every choice we make shapes our journey. Whether it's an intimate dinner party with our closest pals or a music festival with thousands of strangers, ambiverts can roll with it. We appreciate the deep connections of close friendships, but also thrive in environments where we can meet new people and expand our horizons. It's like variety is the spice of life and we like our lives extra spicy. We're not just talkers, we're listeners too. Ambiverts can rock a conversation both ways. We can hold our own in a debate, sharing our thoughts and ideas with passion, but we also know the power of truly listening, of giving someone our undivided attention and making them feel heard. It's all about finding that balance between expressing ourselves and creating space for others to do the same. Communication is key, people. Okay, real talk. Even ambiverts get socially drained sometimes. It's like, we love a good party, but too much of a good thing can leave us feeling like we need a week-long nap. The key is to recognize our limits and prioritize self-care. Sometimes that means saying no to plans, even if it means missing out on the FOMO. Our well-being comes first, always. We get it, introverts. That need to recharge after social interaction? Totally valid. And extroverts, we feel your energy, your zest for life. Ambiverts, we're like the bridge between these two worlds. Understanding and appreciating the unique perspectives of both, it's like, we're fluent in both introvert and extrovert, and we're here to translate and build bridges, baby. So, are you team ambivert? Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to personality. Embrace the beautiful complexity of who you are, my friends. Whether you're a social butterfly who needs their alone time or a quiet observer who loves to turn up every now and then, know that you are perfectly and wonderfully you. And that, my friends, is something to celebrate.